Do you think you might have thrips on your plant? They can be hard to spot and difficult to treat, but with a few helpful tips and a lot of hard work, you can beat them. If you enjoy our Planta guides, like and subscribe to our channel. Now let's talk about thrips. The first sign of thrips that you'll usually notice is your plant's leaves beginning to look a bit dull and unhealthy. You will often see papery marks, silvery or bronze discoloration, browning or yellowing leaves, black specks, drooping leaves, dead leaves, or deformed growth. Be sure to check both the surface and the undersides of your plant's leaves for signs of pests. Thrips can also appear on stems and leaf veins. Damage on the stems may look different to leaf tissue damage. For example, it may show brown marks instead of silvery discoloration. Be sure to also check on any buds, leaf junctions, or bends in the plant. These hidden areas are protected from rain and wind and are prime locations for pests to take over. Place the infected plant in a closed room to avoid thrips spreading to other plants. Make sure to also check all your other plants for thrips as well. If you'd like personalized schedules and plant advice, join us over on the Planta app. Shower the plant and rinse the leaves thoroughly with a jet of lukewarm water. This will quickly decrease the population. Do try to avoid the soil or cover it if it's still damp from previous watering. There are several different types of pesticide that can help you kill and manage thrips. Thrips are resistant to many types of pesticides, so be sure to check the label. Treat your plant according to the instructions on the package. If you want to mix your own pesticides, you'll need to check what's available in your area. Neem oil, for example, is not approved for in-home pest treatment in some places. If you want to mix your own, here's an example. Mix one quart of lukewarm water, one teaspoon of neem oil, half a teaspoon of liquid dish soap, and a few drops of isopropyl alcohol. Shake the mixture until all the neem oil is diluted into the mix. Spray the leaves and stems with the solution and pour any excess down into the soil to prevent new eggs from hatching. Neem oil has a very strong smell, but it will dissipate as it dries. Biological control can help reduce or eliminate the infestation, or can be used in combination with other treatments. Neocyalis cucumerus prey on the eggs and nymphs. Aureus eat both eggs, nymphs, and adult thrips. The idea of releasing more insects into your home may not feel very pleasant, but it is actually one of the most eco-friendly ways of keeping the infestation under control. Prevention methods are the best way to keep pests out of your home. Put all new houseplants in quarantine before introducing them to the rest of your collection. Do regular checkups on your plants. Keep fruit and vegetables away from your plants. Check out more of our Planta guides here. From all of us at Planta, happy planting!